I'll be showing eight new features in Microsoft Teams. This includes the brand new channel updates, OneNote integration, and some fun new meeting backgrounds and filters. So let's get started. The first new feature is a redesigned channels in Teams. This is now in public preview and will be rolling out in the summer of 2023. The first thing you're gonna notice is that now posts are on the top. So all new posts get started up here. And if I scroll down, you will see posts from the past. So they reverse the ordering. There's also a whole new post type of UI. So in this case, I'm gonna click right here to start new post. And you'll see that there's a few different options where the UI has changed. If I wanna make this an announcement, I click this. I can make this an announcement. If I wanna post this into multiple channels, I go here and now I can add my different eras to post and I can do this just like I could in the past. It's just a different user interface. And if I wanna change who can reply, everyone versus you and the moderators, I can do that there. That's a quick summary of the new posts and I'll delete this. The other nice thing is that you can now pop posts out of a channel. So I'm gonna hover on the three dot menu here and I will choose pop out conversation. In the same way that you can pop chats out into a different window, right here I have my post and it's popped out into a different window. And I'll just close this. Another nice thing is on the right hand side, you now have this little channel area. You can see the people who are in the channel, you can do the description, you can manage the channel, and you can also see channel notifications to manage. And I can also collapse this, so right there, open channel details, back and forth, and every single channel has this same type of layout. So this is really easy to just get a sense of what's going on. What's also nice is you can pin posts and they will pop up right here in the right hand pane. I'll go and hit the three dot menu and I'm gonna choose to pin right here and then confirm. Now this is pinned right over on the right hand side and you also see this little pin in green there. So now anyone who is in this channel can look and quickly see what is pinned because this pane is open up by default. The second new feature is the ability to easily zoom when you're looking at a meeting. And this is an example where this is a shared window of PowerPoint. It can be a desktop, a window, or in PowerPoint Live. And I'm an attendee and I wanna zoom in and read some of the font, it might be a little small. In the lower left, you're gonna see a plus minus. So if I click plus, it'll zoom way in. And now I can pan around and see exactly what I need to see. This doesn't impact what other people are seeing on their screens, it's just for me. And in the lower left, I'll hit minus a couple times and I can even hit full screen to jump back to the exact 100% zoom. The third new feature is additions to meeting backgrounds in Teams meetings. So I'm gonna hit the three dot menu right here and I'm gonna choose effects and avatars. And you're gonna see backgrounds right here. Now here are some of the standard backgrounds, I'll hit apply. And we've had these for a while but there are some new ones. So here's Escape Artist, a lot of fun, a little green. Here's one that reminds me a little bit of Tatooine and Star Wars, and there are a bunch of cool new additions. If you hit Show All on the right, you'll see even more. Here's a little bit Feeling Dreamy, this one's called, a little bit of DNA type of background going. So there are so many explorations. Check out all of these new backgrounds. Now I'm gonna hit back on backgrounds and the fourth new feature is a fun one and that is Snapchat filters that we partnered with them and pulled them into Teams. So down on filters on the right, you have frames, which is from Microsoft and styles. This is also from Microsoft, but I'm gonna choose Snapchat and there are a bunch of filters here. So let's try a couple. Here are orange sunglasses. Hey, I look a lot like Bono now. Maybe I wanna have a cat sitting on my head in a meeting. That's not distracting. Oh, ouch, ouch, he's like scraping on my forehead. How about a funny mushroom? Oh, wow, that one is looking good. I'm liking that white mustache. I can even have a chicken on my head. And I can have heart fall and all sorts of other fun things with these snap filters. So try them out, have a little fun on your next meeting, and I encourage you to have a good time. The fifth new feature is that OneNote Notes tabs will be created by default whenever you create a new channel in Teams. Now this has already been the case in our education version, so it's not changing there, but in commercial, you'll now get a default OneNote. Now I'm gonna go here into the Mark 8 project team and I'll hit the three dot menu and create a new channel. That's called planning and I'm gonna hit add. It's adding the channel. At the top, you're gonna to see posts, files, and it used to have wikis, but now we have notes, which is a OneNote notes channel. I'll click this to change over. Getting my notes tab ready. And there is my new OneNote notes channel. If I hit the little notebooks icon, you can see exactly where it lives. This lives in the Mark 8 project team notebook. I can create more sections and pages down at the bottom, or if I wanna open this whole notebook up in the browser or the desktop app, I can click right here or here. 
The sixth new feature is a new loop component for voting tables. I'm here in a chat and I've got a few different people, including Alex. And in the lower part, I will click the little loop icon and you're gonna see this new voting table right here. And on the right hand side, you'll see a little image that shows what that voting table is. So I will click this. This gives me a nice little table template that's ready to go. So I'm gonna fill this out really quick. Now it's ready to send out to my chat and I'll hit send loop component here. Now the loop is in the chat and there's a little area right here for people to vote on. So I'm gonna have Alex come in and give his vote. And right here, it looks like Alex is in the voting table adding his own area. And I'm gonna go vote myself. I'm gonna vote for this one also. So it's really easy to tally up votes in a voting table for loop. And a reminder, loop components are currently only supported in chat inside of Teams. But you can take these loop components and paste them in many other places, including Whiteboard, Word Online, Outlook, and there are more places coming in the future. You can control all the sharing options and copying these components right here. And if you want to link out to the actual loop component page, you just click this link here. The seventh new feature is support for Teams meetings to show up on the Microsoft 365 homepage. This is formerly known as the office.com homepage. It's going over a branding switch, so now it's the Microsoft 365 homepage. So at the top, I'm signed into office.com, or you could sign into microsoft365.com, and this is the redesigned homepage. All your apps are on the left, you have a feed, but right here, I've got a meeting coming up, and it looks like my one-on-one -on -one started two minutes ago, I'm a little bit late, but it's nice and big and I can join directly from my office homepage. So I'll click join here and this launches me right into Teams and my meeting is set up and ready to join. So all of your meetings now show up right here on your homepage alongside all of the other information and documents that you have on your Microsoft 365 page. This is a Teams meeting feature that allows the audio to be analyzed on where people are placed in the gallery view. If people are up on the left or in the center, on the right, or the lower left and right, it analyzes where that audio is coming from. And then with your USB wired headphones or if you have stereo speakers, it'll place that audio to make it sound more spatially accurate. It's currently not supported in Bluetooth wireless, but that's coming in the future. I won't be able to demo this right now in this meeting, but imagine there's a lot of people in the meeting and there's on the left side and the right side or the upper left and the lower right. All the audio when they're talking will sound that way in your wired headphones. Now to enable spatial audio, first go to the three dot menu here and then go to settings and then choose device settings. You will see a new spatial audio switch here. I'll turn that on. And if you hover on the little eye, voices will sound like they're coming from where each person is positioned on your screen. It's not yet available with wireless headphones, but I've turned that on. So if I'm in a meeting, it's gonna sound really interesting when people are talking. You can also turn this on permanently if you go into device settings in your main Teams app. So let's switch over there. I'm here in the Teams desktop app and I'll go to the three dot menu and choose settings. Now go to devices. Then just scroll down and you'll see spatial audio, kind of a similar switch like you just saw, and then turn that switch on. And it says available in gallery view. So it's not currently in together mode, it's only in gallery view, but we hope to bring it more places in the future, including wireless Bluetooth headsets. If you wanna keep up with all the latest Microsoft updates and tips and tricks, subscribe to my channel and then just ring the bell so you get all the latest videos that I post.